welcome to IBC Siksha session. Um, we are continuing with reading with uh, chapter 13, where we had stopped. Let's read the prayers. Om Agyana Timirandasya Gyana Anjana Sharakhaya Chakshura Amilita Mena Tasmai Shiguru Venamaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapita Mena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kada Mayam Dadati Sopadantikam. Vande Ham Shri Guruho Shri Yukta Patakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Rahuna Tam Vitam Tom Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamsha हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वांछा कल्पतु व्यस्य कृपा सिंधु भैव च वृथा नाम पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद से द्वैतिक दादर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे So uh, we were reading from the 13th chapter. Uh, Arjuna has asked these questions. He wished to know what is nature, what is prakriti, purushaha, the enjoyer, and the field, the knower of the field, of the of the and of knowledge and object of knowledge. So here Krishna explains about the field. The field is the body. This body is a field. Knower of the field is, there are two knowers. One is the Jivatma, the individual soul, and another one is the Paramatma. Then he talked about knowledge. We went through a big list of what is knowledge. And what is the object of knowledge? The Supreme Lord himself, Krishna. And then the Purushaha is what he is going to talk about. There are two types of Purusha. One is Jiva, and another one is Super Soul, Paramatma. So Jiva is very limited within his own body. But Paramatma is expanding in all the bodies. The Paramatma is expanding in all the bodies. There is one Paramatma and he has expanded in all the bodies. But in all the bodies there are individual Jivas who are different from each other. So that is the difference. And, and this part of the uh, section from, uh, from this chapter will be focused on that. So we went through this big list of what is knowledge. Starting with humility, pridelessness, non-violence, tolerance. Most important one is unalloyed devotion to Krishna. Hmm? And this is the one that differentiates a jnani versus a devotee. A devotee when he takes to unalloyed devotion of Krishna, then um, he, he develops all these qualities. Whereas a jnani has to develop it separately. But the moment we become devotees of Krishna, all the other qualities are developed. Hmm? Okay. So now we will enter into text number 13. So, okay. Text number 13. I shall now explain the knowable, knowing which you will taste the eternal Brahman, the spirit beginningless and subordinate to me lies beyond the cause and effect of this world. So basically this set, set, this set series of text, uh, series of shlokas that Krishna is going to explain is he is going to explain about the Paramatma, the super soul. And the greatness about uh, understanding Paramatma is that one will achieve eternity by knowing Paramatma. It is called Paramatma realization. Hmm? Paramatma realization. So, there are three types of realizations. One is Brahman realization. Where one comes to conclusion that Krishna, the supreme absolute truth is the energy. This is spiritual energy, which is not like material energy changing. It is spiritual energy, which is devoid of material qualities. And when one goes there, one is eternally living there. Second is Paramatma realization. That this energy is coming, Brahman energy is coming from Paramatma. He is a person. And that person is sitting in everyone's heart and directing all the souls. That is Paramatma. And third is Bhagavan realization. That the Brahman and the Paramatma both are coming from 
another personality who is bhagwan hmm? and he is living in his abode that is golok vrindavan so knowing the parmatma is also brings eternity okay because it is under parmatma spiritual realization it is under spiritual realization knowing brahman is also under spiritual realization better than that is parmatma better than parmatma is bhagwan okay okay so um like i said this chapter is full philosophical and with knowledge and all so um um so everything of it we cannot read but we can go through certain points and you know move forward so i would require some volunteer to read the highlighted lines can anyone read shall i read prabhu ji yeah yeah go ahead now he begins to explain the knowable first the soul and then the super soul by knowledge of the knower both the soul and the super soul one can relish the nectar of life yeah so we learned a lot from the second chapter about the soul the soul is imperishable cannot die it changes body and all that now we will learn about super soul hmm? the next set of verses all about super soul uh go ahead read this the supreme lord as the super soul is also stated in the vedic literature shweta uh, swatara upanishad to be uh, pradana what is this word shetragnya 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 padir gunesha gunesha hmm the chief knower of the body and the master of three modes of material nature yeah so the super soul is pradhan pradhan means chief pradhan pant pradhan you have heard this word yes ah so chief so chief knower of the body of all the bodies and he is the master of the three modes okay hmm okay so now um when we uh, so okay okay so there was a section on the um koshas we we'll just go to the kosha ha huh. the five stage of brahman realization pancha kosha so we we uh, we know about food the baby is only interested in food that time the kosha the understanding is only about food annamaya even animals and all that they are just simply annamaya pranamaya means okay i have more than just the food but the people also are out like mother father then gyanamaya oh i can think and i can start doing things okay i can think uh, emotions i can show emotions so it's gyanamaya and vigyanamaya is when one understands that he is different from the gross body he is the soul okay second chapter of bhagavad gita the moment we understand second chapter of bhagavad gita we are in vigyanamaya stage so these two stages are spiritual stages vigyanamaya and anandamaya the moment we understand the supreme lord either in its uh, parmatma realization or bhagwan realization we are in anandamaya state okay we are in anandamaya state so we are in anandamaya state and that's what uh, krishna is saying in the 13.13 um okay what he says you will taste the eternal taste the happiness great happiness so it's anandamaya okay it's anandamaya uh, same thing you know in the last sentence is prabhupad is explaining that when we know about um the soul then it is vigyanamaya and when we know about the supreme lord then it is anandamaya okay okay mm-hmm. somebody read the translation shall i read prabhu ji oh, go ahead go ahead hari krishna everywhere or his hands and legs his eyes heads and faces and he has ears everywhere in this way the super soul exists pervading everything yeah so 
uh, this particular verse, right? 14. So interestingly, if we if we read, uh, sorry, if we read the uh, if we read this Sanskrit, right? The word Paramatma is never used. Okay, the word Paramatma is never used. Mm. But the Acharyas translated as Paramatma. Mm. And the reason for that is the descriptions everything is of the Paramatma. Mm. Okay. So, mm. um, so let's understand this. Everywhere is his hands and legs, his eyes, heads, faces and his ears everywhere. Okay, so going back to our diagram, um, Okay. How many souls are there? One. Two persons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six souls are there. And how many Paramatma? One. One. Yeah. So, let's go to the verse. Everywhere are his hands and legs, his eyes, heads and faces and he has ears everywhere. So, who has this? Who is he talking about? The individual soul or the Paramatma? Paramatma. Paramatma. Why? Because, because Paramatma only yeah. can have hands and legs, eyes, heads everywhere. Whereas a human being cannot human have. Doctor. Okay. okay. Doesn't have. Okay. So human being, nahi, the soul. See, this the particular soul, soul is, yeah, different yeah. Yeah. soul is different from this soul, is different from this soul, is different from this soul. Yes. Okay. Just let me admit. Yeah. So so but the Paramatma is one, right? There is yes. one Vishnu in everyone's heart. Yes. Yes. So, this Vishnu's eyes are in this body, 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 in this body. All the bodies, right? Yes. yes right. But if this soul is taken, his, his spiritual eyes are where? It is only limited to this body, right? Mm -hmm. He has yes. no idea what is going in this body, what is going in this body, what is going in this, what is going in, right? But this yes. one person knows everything. The yes. Paramatma knows everything. So, yes. so, the, so the Acharyas, they they translate directly as super soul. Mm. Now you understand? Yes. yes. Yeah. But yes. those who don't understand this concept, they don't understand, they don't use the word super soul. They directly see the soul. Mm. Yes. And they conclude that, you know, the soul is great. Mm. The soul is great. That is rare. But he is not that great. That his hands and legs are everywhere and his faces and ears are everywhere. No. So therefore, this is soul. So, in the purport also Prabhupada is, is, um, is talking about the same thing. Yeah, go ahead and read this highlighted. Yes, yes, Prabhuji. As the sun exists diffusing its unlimited rays, so does the super soul or supreme personality of Godhead. He exists in all, his all-pervading form and in him exists all the individual living entities, beginning from the first great teacher, Brahma, down to the small ants. There are unlimited heads, legs, hands and eyes, and unlimited living entities, all are existing in and on the super soul. Therefore, the super soul is all pervading. Hare Krishna. That also shall I read? Uh, yes. The individual soul, however, cannot say that he has his hands, legs, and eyes everywhere. Yes. That is not possible. Yeah, that is not possible. Right? Mm. Yeah. But only in ignorance he thinks. And therefore, you know, we find in some spiritual organizations, that is, um, you know, they conclude that you are God. And mm. they may quote this particular verse also. Okay. Mm. They may quote this verse 13.13 and they may say, hey, see, look at this. But no, we should understand and in practicality it is not like that. So therefore, in reality also it is not like that. Okay. Read this section. In Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that if anyone offers him a flower or a fruit, 
or a little water, he accepts it. If the Lord is a far distance away, how can he accept things? This is the omnipotence of the Lord. Even though he is situated in his own abode, far, far away from earth, he can extend his hand to accept what anyone offers. That is his potency. Yeah, so this is called omnipotence. Omnipotence means his, his ability to accept anything, to do anything everywhere. Omni. Mm. Okay. He is sitting in Gola Vrindavan, but he can accept things from here. Yes. Now you are sitting in your rooms. If mm. I want to give you a book, mm. is it possible? No. 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 Why? Because we are individual souls. But Krishna is it is possible. The same Krishna is in your house, my house. And you offer him banana, I offer him mango. And he is able to accept both of it. And he is there in Gola Vrindavan accepting fruits from his devotees. All things at a time. So it is called omnipotent, which we don't have. Our, own, our potency is not omnipotent. Even from Radharani also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We move to the next verse. Text number 15. Uh, read the translation, please. Someone else read it. Who didn't write? Read. Please read. Shall I read Prabhuji? Okay. okay. Hare Krishna. Hmm. Yes. But, but the Supreme Lord, no, although no, no. the, the source of all the senses of the, the living entities. Sorry, 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 sorry. The translation. Yeah, sorry. Translation. Yeah, yeah. The super soul is the original source of all senses, yet he is without senses. He is unattached. Although he is the maintainer of all living beings, he transcends the modes of nature and at the same time he is the master of all the modes of material nature. Yeah. But, but. Okay. So what is the first line? We will just focus on the first line. That uh, color combinations, bad combinations. Okay. He is without senses. This is the line, right? He is without senses. But if we go back to the previous verse, he is having his hands and legs everywhere, eyes, heads, faces, ears everywhere. All right? Yes, yes. He has senses. This means he has senses, right? Adds, hands, lies, uh, faces, right? Mm. Yes, true. But the very Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is saying he doesn't have senses. Mm. So how can two things be existing at the same time? What is the explanation? He doesn't have material senses. Probably. His senses are spiritual. It means that. Okay. Anything else? Prabhuji, first line itself, it says, the super soul is the original source of all senses. So, okay. all senses means he is having sense. But then he is without sense. That line is also there. So, so the answer was right that his senses are spiritual in nature. They are not material senses. Yeah. So, he doesn't have material senses but he has spiritual senses. He is unattached. Uh, he is unattached. That, that's fine. But he, uh, we are just talking about the senses. Mm. Previous verse said he has senses. He has hands, legs. This verse is saying he doesn't have. Mm. Now this are this is uh, opposite qualities in the super soul. Okay. So that means he says he is spiritual. Yeah, yeah, he is fully spiritual. Now let's read the purport uh, this section and you know we'll understand. Go ahead. The Supreme Lord, although the source of all the senses of the living entities, doesn't have material senses like they have. Actually, the individual souls have spiritual senses, but in conditioned life, they are covered with the material elements and therefore the sense activities are exhibited through matter. The Supreme Lord's senses are not so covered. His senses are transcendental and are called, therefore called nirguna. Guna means the material modes, but his senses are without material covering. It should be understood that his senses are not exactly like ours. Although he is the source of all our sensory activities, he has his transcendental senses which are, which are uncontaminated. Yeah, this stop, is stop, very stop. nice. Stop. Yes. So, uh, his senses are spiritual. It is nirguna. You have heard this word nirguna? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah, these are very uh, famous words. Nirguna, saguna. Nirguna, nirakara. Yes. Mm. Nir Akara Impersonal 
no it is not impersonal that's the that's the mayavadi definition nirguna means without material qualities okay. and nirakar means without material form now the word material material is used now let's now somehow i cannot make a table here can we draw a table here no okay uh, let's do differences between material and spiritual and we'll fully understand what is the meaning of all this okay what is the difference of material versus spiritual what is material Ma prabhu ji material where the maya is completely uh, covered that is uh, illusion illusion complete illusion it is a temporary okay let's start with the word temporary yes. so in spiritual is it temporary no permanent eternal ah eternal okay next material perishable okay good perishable spiritual it is non perishable nannam nainam chindani shastrani right it cannot be cut it it says no let's put non decay third material what is it made of what is material made of matter gross matter matter what kind of matter earth water bhumir apan alo vayu fire air ether five elements okay what is spiritual made of nothing satchit ananda vigraha satchit ananda what is it satchit ananda truth uh so eternal full of knowledge uh, eternal sorry uh, eternal full of full of knowledge and bliss and bliss okay now we got few more things to compare okay if if uh, we told eternal we fill it now full of knowledge how is material knowledge is it full of no material body no. is it full of more knowledge no 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 how come it is not full of it knowledge has, it, it has four it has defects defects okay defects is one thing and dwandva in material dwandva always good bad hmm. okay okay dwandva dwandva is also that duality and duality. this is non duality okay absolute that's fine uh, let's talk about full of knowledge so if this body is full of knowledge then what is the material body is it full of knowledge no prove no prove Please. prove full no no knowledge. prove how it is ignorance. not full of knowledge full of ignorance ah, how it is full of ignorance prove you cannot it's very easy to because prove because we are uh, um, um, always we think we are the body so um, we have uh, uh, we are not coming out of the uh, thing okay that, okay how uh, many of you went into college all went i went ah so we were full of ignorance we couldn't yes. even talk we had to be taught we had to be taught when krishna no, was a baby did he did he start talking no yes no he started talking he didn't go to school <laughs> <laughs> when he when he took birth he had jewels on his body when he started talking to vasudev and devaki and he told them you have to take me to kolo uh, to vrindavan to gokul right yes. and then he told that you know you both were great devotees in your previous life right ha huh? right mm. does our baby talks like that how many no. babies talk like that No, no. no. All right. So it is full of ignorance. We have to go to school. 
but when we have spiritual knowledge we, uh, spiritual body we don't have to do okay now bliss so if i write bliss here if spiritual body is full of bliss what is material body suffering full of misery full of pain full of pain right prove prove is it it is full of pain prove tell me something how it is full of pain janma mrityu jara vyadhi okay anything more so explain Param what is janma mrityu jara vyadhi three fold misery also three fold misery old age adi yes, old age disease what death okay old age disease and death hmm. okay uh, hmm. so 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 yeah so when we say it is without material qualities it is without this left hand side qualities okay when it we say this is without material form it is without the form which is affected by the left hand qualities now does it make sense does it make sense yes or no yes <laughs> yes okay we we'll yes. go further okay we talked about guna um okay 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 we will uh, we'll go to brahma samhita for just a minute there's a very nice verse अंगानि यस सकलेंद्रिय वृत्ति मंति पश्यन्ति पान्ति कलयन्त चिरन्त जगन्ति आनन्द चिन्मय स उज्ज्वल विग्रहस्य गोविन्दमादि पुरुषम तमहम भजामि आई वर्शिप गोविन्द कृष्ण द प्राइमीवल लॉर्ड हुज ट्रांसेंडेंट फॉर्म इज फुल ऑफ ब्लिस truth substantiality and is full of most dazzling splendor okay his form is dazzling splendor mm. have you seen any material form which is dazzling and splendor no you know all the actors actresses in the movies they try to show dazzling splendor how they show there will be a light behind their body there will be music <laughs> right yes full of makeup Ah, there will be makeup, and there will be special effects. But Krishna's it is not like that. Okay. Next, each of the limbs of his transcendental figure possesses in himself the full fledged functions of all organs, and eternally sees and maintains, manifests the infinite universes, both spiritual and mundane. So each of his limbs possess the full fledged functions of all organs. interesting right so each of his limbs can perform functions of other organs so through his eyes can he walk he can walk yes yes, yes through sir. his legs can he see yes, yes, yes through his sir. legs can he walk can he talk yes. yes so this is the verse so where in the shastra it is written brahma samhita 32nd verse angani yes. yasa saklendra vyakti okay so krishna um confirms this and uh, sachin anvesi prabhupad is also quoting uh, brahma samhita okay and uh, and in this bhagavad gita he quotes angani yasa sakalendra vyakti mantra okay okay someone read this highlighted one although we Shall do I not prabhu ji no somebody is reading yeah you read um, who was reading continue reading yeah Yes, Prabhu. Although we do not see his head, face, hands, or legs, he has them. And when we are elevated to the transcendental situation, we can see the Lord's form. Due to materially contaminated senses, we cannot see his form. Therefore, the impersonalists, impersonalists who are still materially affected, cannot understand the personality of Godhead. Okay. Okay. We are going to discuss on this particular line. when we are transcendentally situated we can see the lord's form what does this mean exactly that is when we attain goloka vrindavana 
ट्रांसेंडल फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड कृष्णा नारायण फॉर्म Okay, so Vishwaru, four hundred Narayan, two hundred Krishna. Out of this, this Vishwaru is actually Lord's material form only. It is not a spiritual form; it is ever changing. But two and four hundred Narayan form is spiritual form. Will do. And two hundred Krishna form is spiritual form. Spiritual form. Ah, it is spiritual form. Okay. So, what had to be done to elevate him to a transcendent situation? there was something krishna gave him therefore he could see some eye power he gave divya chakshu divya chakshu good divya chakshu prabhu yeah spiritual eyes ha he gave some this okay he gave spiritual eyes to see the visual yes power. divya chakshu so let's let's put spiritual eyes so to be elevated to see transcendent situation um, krishna gave arjuna divya chakshu then only he could see why did krishna give arjuna because uh, uh, prabhu, a great devotee prabhu ji yeah. one doubt prabhu ji like is uh, a great devotee sakha and bhakta great devotee friend and devotee mm. okay Where does he say you are my friend? You are my devotee. Purikshetra. No, in Bhagavad Gita. Where does he say? Um, you read, na? Ninth chapter. Yes, eleventh. In the ninth chapter, beginning. Ninth chapter. Ah, ninth chapter. Beginning, he says, Prabhu ji. Why this is slow? There are two two places he says. Actually, my dear Arjuna, because you are never envious of me, I'll give you this concern. And one more place he says. In fourth chapter. Fourth chapter. Yeah. Third, four point three. Also, he says the similar thing. Saivaya maya te dya yoga prapto pratna ha bhakto smi chata sakha chete rasam hi etat uttamam. because you are my bhakta and you are my friend i'll tell you the rahasya secret so who mm-hmm. we have to tell our secrets who God. are our true friends krishna no i mean see in our material life also if we have to say some rahasya to, to so we have to send to our trusted friends okay confidential friends ah trusted confidential friends okay um uh, there was one more person who saw sanjaya sanjaya no the no, sanjaya also saw right that is also there but there is one more person who saw this vishwaru duryodhan 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 yes duryodhan duryodhan actually saw before the war he saw yeah before the war yes, also yes, when krishna came to uh, yes yeah. yes yeah krishna came there ah uh, but what was the effect he didn't uh, bother only Ah, he he became more envious. Yeah. And what was the effect after Arjuna saw Vishwaru four hundred Narayan two hundred Krishna? He became he surrendered himself. He, he surrendered. Yes, he surrendered. He became. I mean, he was a pure devotee, so he became more pure devotee. Okay. Ah, uh, Prabhu ji, uh, if uh, Vishwarupa is a material form, like why would uh, uh, Krishna give Arjuna uh, Divya Shakti, Prabhu ji, like the transcendental life? Okay, okay, good question. 
Um, see, Krishna says, "Na, I am supreme." Mm. So, the supreme is spread everywhere. Okay, and anybody can tell like this. I am supreme. Anybody walking on the street, right? Mm -hmm. So, how to differentiate that Krishna is right? Therefore, See, Krishna. He lifted uh, Govardhana hill, and then he has killed. No, so that is Bhagavad fine. Gita. That is fine. But within Bhagavad Gita, he showed his uh, Vishwarupa form. Ah, so so here is the answer. After hearing Krishna's word in chapter ten, with a single fragment of mind, I pervade and support the entire universe. Arjuna wishes to see all the pervasive form of the Lord. Mm. Because he said, "I pervade." and i am god arjuna said show me that pervasive form mm. okay so that is the thing and the second reason is universal form is the proof that krishna is the supreme correct so anybody walking on the road will say i am god i am god then we should say okay show me your universal form this is form hmm and he may say you know and then we know you know see 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 uh, for any theory there has to be a proof also na yeah. they'll run away okay don't show the universal form view at least lift the uh, govardhana ah yeah, yeah 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 that all is there but see bhagavad gita if we have to take it very seriously on the on the book bhagavad gita itself so the bhagavad gita has itself the proof correct okay So yeah, so that's the reason why it uh, why it is there, hmm? why he shows. See, Krishna supremacy he has to show, right? So then he has to show his universal form to to prove that he is the supreme Lord. Okay. Hmm. Now does it make sense? Yes, yes. Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Yeah. Hmm. And this is very important because in India, um. you know okay it got closed in india it's a big scam i am god i am god scam is big 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 scam right mm -hmm. so to break that scam we have to ask this question what question we have to ask prove that you show me your universal form show me your universal form, universal form. <laughs> open your mouth and show me all the universe whole world Ah, and then you know we can slap that person and kick him. <laughs> you are not Krishna. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Ah, uh, so okay, we discuss this transcendent situation. Okay. Now let's get to text number sixteen. Someone read. Who has not read? Please read. Uh, I will read from which okay. translation. The supreme truth exists outside and inside of all living beings, the moving and the non-moving, because he is subtle. He is beyond the power of the material senses to see or to know. Although far, far away, he is also near to all. Okay, so he is far and he is near, both at the same time. He is moving, unmoving, non-moving. He is inside, outside. I'll show you a picture. You will understand. so supreme lo, uh, super soul is everywhere right mm. and he is inside outside okay he is far mm. and he is near he is mm. sitting in golok vrindavan but he is sitting in our hearts also mm. okay so this is yes. how it is wow. yeah. okay read this highlighted section we cannot see or understand with these material senses therefore in the vedic language it is said that to understand him our material mind and senses cannot act but one who has purified his mind and senses by practicing krishna consciousness in devotional service can see him constantly it is confirmed in brahma samhita that the devotee who has developed love for the supreme god can see him always without cessation and it is confirmed in bhagavad gita 11.54 that he can be seen and understood only by devotional service bhaktya tva anya ananya sakhya okay 
Then we'll go to Brahma Samhita where he's where Brahma ji is telling about this. And the verse is Premanjana. Hmm. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridesh Vilokayanti Yam Shama Sundara Machimta Guna Sorupam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Read this. Translation I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, who is Shama Sundara, Krishna himself with inconceivable, innumerable attributes, whom the pure devotees see in their heart of hearts with the eye of devotion tinged with the slave of love. Self of love. Okay. Sorry, salve of love. Can anyone explain what does this mean to, to have devotion and then that that devotee who has a devotion? will be able to see heart to Krishna. heart. Yes. Can you give me an example? Brahma. Uh, that, that's fine. Krishna Brahma and all Brahma. this is fine. Let's start with some material example. Uh, now, uh, uh, how many of you are, uh, how many Matajis here have uh, teenagers, uh, children? I have, I have anyone uh, more than 30 year old son or daughter anyone has I have yes. Prabhuji yes Prabhuji okay so how do you see your child 30 year old man 30 year old woman or you see the same way as, as that child was born the very first day yes. of birth we, yes. we see when, once the child is growing up we see them as a friend we don't see them as a child. <laughs> no, even today I see my son as my as a child as my child. Yeah, that is true. You know, that is true. However, uh, older the son or daughter will become, right? The parent still, will act as if my child is is still no, one year old, two year old boy or girl. Yes, yes Prabhuji. Yes, but yeah, we have to right. treat them as a friend, no, Prabhuji. No, no, that is fine. That is fine. Let's not, let's not, what the reason why it is because our eyes are, uh, the eyes of the parents are tinged with love for their children. Mm, correct. So wherever the child will be, whether, he, whether the child be prime minister, president or, you know, teacher, whoever, you will never see that child as, I, I mean, that person as as someone with that authority you will always see your child right yes. because our eyes are tinged with that love okay. if you see your child's car your child's bike your child's cycle clothes you immediately remember that person right you yes. remember yeah yes so so same way a devotee because he is in love with krishna he is able to see Krishna everywhere and if Krishna tries to hide himself and come in front, then also he, he will be able to be seen. Then Krishna, then, then also he will be able like to Krishna identify Krishna. Krishna. I, Krishna cannot remain um, hidden from his devotee. Okay, this is what it means. Um, there are many examples actually. Ha, there are many examples. So one, one, one story I will tell. Krishna had come to Kurukshetra once, right? To do some, there, there was this eclipse and they all had come to Kurukshetra. Krishna, all the Dwarka Vasis with all the wives, you know, 16,108 wives, Balram, everyone had come to Kurukshetra to perform um, the Yagya. And the Vrijavasis had also come. Radharani had also come to Kurukshetra and uh, Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda had also come to Kurukshetra. Now Krishna being the king, he was surrounded by thousands and millions of soldiers and they were performing this yagya and in this yagya the brahmanas were saying swaha, 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 swaha like that you know all these mantras were going on in Krishna and this queen was offering into the fire. And now Nanda Maharaj came to know, Yashoda Mai came to know, Krishna has come. So they ran to where Krishna was. But then what happened? The soldiers stopped them. 
ब्राह्मण सो लाउडली स्वाहा 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 Krishna was hearing kana 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 mm -hmm. and so he got up and he looked in that direction where that sound was coming and he started running to that direction who is calling me and mm -hmm. as he came nearer 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 to nand maharaj and yashoda he became a small child and he went and sat on the lap of yashoda mm -hmm. so so this is what it means by devotion okay in the eyes of devotion nanda uh, yashoda saw krishna as my son you know as my baby and krishna reciprocated by becoming that small boy okay mm. so um mm -hmm. okay so okay um so only a devotee can understand and in bhagavad gita 11.54 krishna says the same thing bhaktya tav ananda yes. ha huh? um and in the 15th verse uh, 15th chapter also he says the same thing um Uh, okay those who know me as supreme someone hmm. those who know me as supreme yoma meva masa mudo janati purushottam sa sarva bhajate man sarva bhavena bharata they do my bhajana my devotion those who understand i am purushottam i am supreme okay 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 someone read uh, the translation please shall i read prabhu ji yeah yeah go ahead go ahead all the the super soul appears to be divided among all beings he is never divided he is situated as one although he is the maintainer of every living entity it is to be understood that he deals and develops all okay so uh, going back to our ppt How many super souls are there in this picture? One. And how many souls? Only one. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, five. Six. Six souls. One super six. soul. One super soul. Right. Yeah. Now someone may see that this super soul is different from this, different from this. So they may think that you know the super soul is actually divided. But that is not the case. Okay. He may appear to be divided. but he is never divided he is situated okay. as one and at the same time he is spread everywhere okay hmm like um okay someone read this shall i read again ah yeah yeah but yeah. the lord is situated in everyone's heart as the super soul does this mean that he has become divided no actually he is one the example is given of the sun the sun at the meridian is situated in its place but if when if one goes for 5000 miles in all directions and asks where is the sun everyone will say that it is shining on on his head in the vedic literature this example is given to show that go ahead given to show that um where am i although although he is in undivided he is situated as if divided also 
it is said in vedic literature that one vishnu is present everywhere by his uh, omnipotence just as the sun appears in many places to many persons and the supreme lord although the maintainer of every living entity devours everything at the time of annihilation ha ah, read further this was confirmed in the 11th chapter when the lord said that he word, had word. come for all the various assembled at kurukshetra he also mentioned that in the form of time uh, he devours also he is the annihilator the killer of all when there is creation he develops all from their original state and the time and at the time of annihilation he devours them the vedic hymns confirm the fact that he is the origin of all living entities and the rest of all okay okay after creation everything rests yeah just uh, hold on just hold on for a few seconds please yeah Hmm. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I had I had some. Yes, probably. Uh, yeah, I had to take care of something. Yeah. Okay. Um, so um, he is the origin of all living entities. From there, I have to read. Shall uh, go I? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He is the origin of all living entities and the rest of all. After creation, everything rests in his omnipotence, and after annihilation, everything again returns. to rest in him there these are confirm confirmations of veda hymns yato yato va limani imani bhutani jayante yena yena jatani jivanti yat pravanti abhisham vishanti tat brahma tat vigna vigyana swaha okay oh, taitriya upanishad okay taitriya upanishad okay so at this point we will go to something um uh just a minute hmm vedic cosmos okay now what we read was after creation everything rests and after annihilation everything returns to him right mm. Mm. Okay. we'll see it in picture can you see this picture yes yeah so this is mahavishnu 
Yeah. Okay. So from Mahavishnu, from his each of his pores come many many universes. Mm. When mm. he exhales, all these universes come out, and when he inhales, all these universes go inside. Mm. Okay. And in this one universe, we have another Vishnu, which is called Garbodaksha Vishnu. Mm. Okay. And Garbodaksha Vishnu, from his navel comes the Lotus Brahma. from which Brahma is born, and he is the first engineer who develops this 14 planetary system. Mm. Civil engineer. He develops the planetary system, and when he goes to sleep, everything gets destroyed. When he gets up, he 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 develops. Okay. Okay. So what we read at the creation, everything rests. in his omnipotence and after annihilation everything returns so creation when mahavishnu exhales all the universes are getting created and when he inhales all the all of them go back into him and this mahavishnu is an expansion of 200 form of krishna from gola vrindavan okay let's see if i have a full picture of the universe okay this is uh, yeah this is one one another representation you must have seen these pictures yes picture yeah so this is what it means from mahavishnu all the universes come and then again they go back okay mm. uh, let's get to uh, read text number 18 someone read shall i read prabhu ji ha go ahead go He is the source of light in all luminous objects. He is beyond the darkness of matter and is unmanifested. He is knowledge. He is the object of knowledge, and he is the goal of knowledge. He is situated in everyone's heart. Okay. So he is the source of light in the sun, in the moon, right? In the stars. He is beyond darkness of matter and is unmanifested. So. the universe is manifest and they unmanifest right but mahavishnu remains the same garbo daksha vishnu also remains the same he is knowledge and he is the object of knowledge he is the goal of knowledge okay he is the goal of knowledge krishna says this in 15 chapter 15 also सर्व सचाहम हृदय सन्विष्टो मत स्मृति ज्ञान वोहनम च वैदेश सर्वेर अहम में वेदो वेदांत वेद विदे चाहम वैदेश सर्वेर अहम में वेदो मीन्स फ्रॉम द होल ऑफ द वेदास आई एम टू बी नोन एंड आई हैव आई एम द कंपाइलर ऑफ वेदांत बाय ऑल द वेदास आई एम टू बी नोन इन आई एम इंडीड आई एम द कंपाइलर ऑफ वेदांत एंड आई एम द नोर ऑफ द वेदास So who is the goal? Krishna is the goal. Krishna. Hmm. Krishna is the goal. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. So it's eight thirty now. Let's open up for some yes. question or comment. Any questions or comment? Uh, uh, Prabhu ji, here in this uh, uh, th this last uh, translation we read. Uh, Nineteen sloka is the dark is beyond the darkness of matter and is unmanifested. So can you just explain on that unmanifested? Okay. You see, we talked about this one universe, right? In this universe, we have so many planetary system: Swarga Loka, Bhu Loka, Patal Loka, right? 14 planet system every every morning of the brahma ji when he gets up from his sleep he creates this 14 planet system so this 14 planet system is manifested every day in the morning and destroyed at the night okay so this is what it means why manifestation and unmanifestation so prabhu ji like why krishna is saying is the source of light is beyond the darkness why is like is unmanifested that i am not able to like 
man unmanifestment is not manifesting so like that no 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 why it it means like he is not doing something like what was happening to brahma brahma is getting manifested in the lotus of vishnu okay but vishnu is never getting manifested he just appears okay 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 prabhu okay. okay thank you yes okay thank you and the souls go back into the body of mahavishnu and they unmanifest so and then so they manifest brahma, again they take bodies so this is what does it brahma when our brahma sleeps so all the souls go to the uh, vishnu garbhodaka sai vishnu right prabhu vishnu no mahavishnu mataji that happens when the universe is destructed but when uh -huh. uh, the night happens then they go into the body of garbhodaka sai vishnu Yeah. Then, then in the morning he creates this um, uh, fourteen planet system, and he and then he starts thinking how to populate them. Mm. Then, Garbo Daksha Vishnu provides him all the souls. Here, yeah, take it, please them as you like. Okay. So, so Prabhu ji, like uh, after uh, life of the, I mean after the, the Brahma life ends, so the soul uh, gets into the body of Mahavishnu, right, Prabhu ji? Yes. So, yes. Okay. 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 that is uh, uh, that takes lot of years uh, 100 but, uh, years of brahma i know one brahma. one day is for so many years isn't it yes, in brahma so yeah so uh, this is the Not like ours yeah this is the chart ah uh, brahma life brahma is 100 years mm -hmm. in in and in every year he has 365 days in one day so we have taken one day of brahma there is 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night in that 12 hours of day it is divided into 14 manvantaras 14 manus appear in one manu that we are it is divided into 71 divya yugas 71 divya one divya yoga means four yugas and like this 71 yugas happen wow Seventy-one yoga. So after that, it uh, becomes. After that, that is just, that is just about one hour of Brahma, something like that. One hour of Brahma. Wow. Mm. And like this, he has fourteen right. manvantaras, mm. and that is just one day of Brahma. Mm. So at at every night, it is partial devastation. At the end of his um, hundred his hundred years, it is full devastation. Full devastation. And presently, Brahma is of fifty-one years old. Mm. he has 50 more oh. years to go <laughs> so so many yugas will come ha ah, so many yugas every day he has 71 divya yugas into yugas. 14 71 into 14 you know these many yugas keep happening so how much is 71 into 14 almost 1000 ha ah, 1000 1000 yugas happen mm. in a day of brahma brahma yeah Okay, so uh, any other question? So we don't know how many yugas has had finished over, over and all. No, no, A Acharyas and Rishi Munis they tell. Okay. They they tell you know, fifty uh, one years of Brahma has happened, and we are in the Vaivatsava Manu. Hmm. The afternoon of Brahma has already happened because Krishna came in the afternoon. Okay. So the remaining part of his day is there. Mm. like that mm. so some indications are given okay 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 so no any any other question or we can close yeah this same uh, okay explain if you can explain it again tomorrow will be okay sure sure okay just a repetition yeah okay okay, okay. thank you prabhu ji